In this demo, I will show you how to uh, to add an Android contact if necessary. So, um, and first, I think I sh will show you what uh, I want to do. Um, I have here my contacts on my emulator. There is a uh, contact contact with the um, with the phone number three. And in uh, in my app, <coughs> let's see where it is. Here's my demo app. Um, I want to write a code uh, which first looks up if uh, if there is an existing contact with the telephone number three, and if it's not there, then it should uh, add the new uh, this number uh, or this contact. So. In our code, uh, first, first let's run it. Okay, here we have uh, when I enter a new uh, contact with the uh, telephone number three and say oh, add that contact, and then I switch to my contacts, then I will see there's still only this contact with. Uh, only one time the uh, contact with the number three. Now, when I go there and enter a new contact with the number four and add this one, then we will find that in the context now we have the number four. So, for this example, is it? Uh, it depends on. Uh, I'm checking. Checking and I, I get a big uh, contact list from my uh, from my network provider, and I want to add all contacts which uh, don't exist uh, uh, on my smartphone. It's not a from the uh, from the provider. It's for my um, for my Fritz box. It's a, a router from the my phone local router in my home office. So. Uh, all what I want to do, all the numbers which are on my on my uh, router, which are the the numbers or contacts which are not on my smartphone, should be added on onto my smartphone. So what we will do now is when we have this button, and and, and as I showed you in a previous uh, example, that the that we have here this entry field. Uh, entry form and as, as soon as we type the add contact then the code goes to the method uh, button or the event button add contacts uh, on click then first I gonna I'm going to get all those values from the entry fields so this is a uh, edit text and uh, I will have this first name last name phone number and email number now <coughs> the intention of uh, of my of this video is uh, to have a look up uh, depending on a phone number and if the phone number uh, if the contact uh, it should return a contact ID as a, in this case as a string if the content uh, if there's no return value then it should uh, add this new raw contact which is uh, defined by first name last name phone number and email so first, has have a look on this uh, function lookup raw contact. So it's a method in uh, in <coughs> former sy uh, system. It's, it, it was defined as a function. So it's fx as uh, pre uh, what is it called uh, pre preset pre th those uh, uh, two. Uh, this 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 little string uh, is for function, functional method. Okay, uh, I give this uh, on this uh, line. I say okay, uh, please look up the raw contact and I uh, please check for the number in my uh, in the case it was number four or number three. So when we open this one, you see there's a phone. The phone number is entered as four. And so the method comes on here, and then we go here. And <coughs> in the first block, I say, okay, check, 
first check if there's uh, nothing as phone number then go return and then um, we have to get the raw contact URI so this is um, um, the when there's the, uh, the account name and account type with the second parameter is um, argument is null means that it should get the default um, the default contact list it should, it should be also be able to check all accounts and to get the um, the Google email list for example so this uh, uh, contact list so that's why we have this first give, give me the provider or the, the target where the, my contacts are, are. and then uh, to look up <coughs> a contact means uh, it works with a content resolver this, this is um, this is a kind of uh, connection handler between my input and a uh, big function, big, big method uh, which targets to the database of those uh, of those multi-level contacts so I said say okay first create a new contact resolver as a blank resolver and then we have to create uh, um, a cursor this is nothing like a little result, uh, record set with phones or phone contacts so we say this blank content resolver uh, should make a query and the result the table which is uh, returning or which is looking for is my uh, contacts contract so this is contacts from the database or from the smartphone and there uh, from the uh, phone subset the phone subset is this one when you are in a, a smartphone and you see always this uh, uh, lower block this one the phone for so you may be also say this person let's say it uh, has a private number and maybe it has a, another number for its uh, mobile or fax or something else so this is a subset uh, of record sets and what we say here is Give me make a query about this subset of record sets, and the parameters the search the search uh, the where um, clause or where string from the SQL usually when you have when you're programming in SQL strings is in here. So this is um, this is the type the database is sub target. And here we say uh, check the number uh, of the, check all phones by the number and there uh, if this one is equals equal my phone number which comes in by as an argument and all the other stuff is now and then uh, we get a, a record set a sub record set maybe by one either by zero uh, record set uh, the count or by one or, and you have to move uh, move next like that's a default uh, SQL database or database rec by, by record sets so you don't ask here uh, the count so we have to go there and we have to say move first or move next for example so my record set move first move last move next this is um, this is moving in a record sets in a database so now we start there again <coughs> let's do this and now we have set the breakpoint uh, when I say again uh, give me give me a record set uh, a customer uh, no, a contact with with the number five. So this normally there's a name and all this stuff a string so uh, but with on a debug testing then we have here uh, numbers now we have add contact and now the, the system runs in there and here this is the parameter the phone number is five this is the argument it comes in and 
when we check on that one um, evaluate so the result is false as soon as you uh, check for something like this as soon as you do move to first then the result is like end of file in SQL if there is if this one is false then uh, there's no result we could also check for for the um, get count ah, here it is phones get count is zero if we had uh, if we would have typed in here, in here the number four then the count get count would be one as soon as we say move to first or move next or something like this and then we go there uh, now when I step here by the F8 where is it F8 then uh, nothing happens first now when we test our app uh, yep when we test it on my number what did we have four <coughs> see there was a little error which I didn't check for now when we come here again we have started as said with the debugger again now connecting now when we go there again and system comes in so now we have the get count is uh, with the result one and now when we go on with the F8 then we get uh, we check for the raw contact ID so this is the phones this is a record set uh, and this record set has um, then we check here for the get column in index so this is it has for the column index is 42 and the column 42 when we check for this one we will get the result 29 as a string uh, unfortunately in Android Studio you can't have a look as a data uh, like a table or something like this in uh, in Visual Studio you would get a, a table visible uh, with all results so that's not given in here and now the rest the my program will go on and return this uh, value the, tw the as a string 29 and then it uh, stops so this was um, an example how to add how to check how to look up for here yeah, how to look up look up a raw contact by the phone number not by the contact id number and then in the case if there is if it's not given then how to add you will find the code at my uh, at my blog uh, code zero dot one uh, for a complete download and if you have questions then you may ask me